YouTube family, welcome back. Hope y'all are having a great day. If you're a first timer, my name is Devin on deck. I speak about fashion and tech, and today we're going over my entire boot collection. Now as we go through this, I want you to keep in mind two things. One, that all these boots are gonna basically look the same to you if you're not a footwear enthusiast and understand that small details do make a substantial difference. And two, because I know a lot of these boots are going to be expensive for some folks, I have alternatives down below in the description. So do not be afraid to click those other links because I even have boots there that are as low as like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, I found some on sale for you. I really did some digging to make sure I look out for the guys that either don't wanna spend the money or can't spend the money on boots like these. Now first things first, let's start with the shoe from the thumbnail and that is the Southern Gents Jodhpur boot. Now these guys are based in Houston, here in America. Here's a picture of the owner if anybody was curious. But this guy's really cool, he already followed me on Instagram. So when we actually chatted, he was like, yo, I wanna send you a couple boots. I know you like to wear Chelsea's. We have some Jodhpur's too that are really cool. So one thing that I did once I got these, I found a vintage bandana, boom, and tied it around the back. So this is just like a styling thing that I did. It's the bandana that I actually put inside here. So you see it comes all the way out the boot, and then I just kind of tucked it in there like that, boom, and then tied it around the back. So then when I buckle the boot, it just kind of stands out as like a little extra flare. I also have them in black too, black leather. These are one of my favorite ones too. And then I have a red bandana around the black one. This is actually kind of dusty. I'm sorry, I haven't worn these in a while. But yeah, here they go, boom. Red bandana in the back, a little blue and red situation. Another little vintage one. I think I had this one when I used to work at J. Crew years ago and I bought it and I haven't used it. And it's kind of a cool little, you know, just a little spice up. Usually I wear all black with these, so this definitely stands out. Now next up, we got the boot of the day instead of the usual sneaker of the day. And these are the Wayland boot by All Saints. Now if you look at them, you notice they are very rugged, very broken in, like I've had them for years. But actually, I've only had these for about like two or three weeks but in that two or three weeks I've worn these bad boys like eight or nine times these are like my new favorite boots I love the suede I love how they already came broken in I love how these feel very effortless I don't have to worry about them like when I wear my nicer boots I'm always very conscious of like where I'm putting my feet where I'm sitting where I'm walking but these I don't have to worry about them at all I just throw them on with like a black t-shirt jeans and I'm out the door now next up we have the roadie flat by Christian Louboutin now, these are probably the lightest weight boots in my collection, but also the most expensive. Now I'm gonna keep it lit with y'all. I cannot afford to pay $1,100 for these boots. Don't get it twisted, okay? I had a partnership with Christian Louboutin years ago and they ended up giving me a pair, which I'm very grateful for. And I love the square toe here. I love the suede. I like that they're a little bit higher. They're very sleek. They hug the ankle really well. And I usually wear these when I want to dress it up just a little bit. Now next up, we have the classic boot by R.M. Williams. This is an Australian brand. It's like the national boot for Australia. And honestly, probably the best boots that I own currently. I love how these feel. They're very comfortable. I love the square toe. And I wear these when I need to pull together an outfit a little bit better. These are definitely my dress shoes if I have a pair. I don't really have any pair of dress shoes, but these these will be it. And the other boot I have from them, which is much more casual and that I wear a lot more often, is their buckle boot. Now, this looks kind of like a job per, right? It has like a little bit of that strap, but the strap's much smaller and it does stay up here. Then you have like the three quarters of the boot already covered fully, so you have a nice clean panel here from the front profile, but then you look on the side and it does come up this way, you feel me? So this is a great boot. I'll link them down below if you like them, but yeah, I'm so happy I got these. And I actually bought these ones on sale, so you definitely want to look out for the sales to get the cheaper price on these. And last but not least, we have my Andis boot by Vince. These are probably my oldest boots in my collection. I've had these for, man, I want to say four years, almost five years. These are just like my kick around, easy to wear boots. I wear them almost everywhere. If you look at the heel right here, you see I've definitely worn it out. It's definitely like slanted up because I've worn these so many times. These are super high quality and they lasted me for a long time. And they've kind of always looked like this. Like, just like these, they're going to look like this forever. These are the same. These look like this 
when I first got them. So highly recommend getting yourself some boots that are already kind of distressed so you don't have to worry about keeping them clean. Just some nice kick arounds, even if they're not really expensive. But I did find some alternatives that I think are kind of close to these. They'll be down below in the description. And that's my whole collection. If you have suggestions for me on the next boot I should get, I'm looking for a Chelsea or a Harness or a Zip boot, kind of like the YSL Wyatt. If you think that would be a good idea, let me know. That's kind of the direction I'm moving to because I want a sleeker boot that feels a little bit more cowboyish, that feels a little more badass, a little more rock star. So if you have any recommendations on what brands are good compared to YSL, because I'm probably not going to spend all that money because that's a lot of bread. What is that, like $1,400 or $1,200 for a pair of boots? Not really trying to go for that. So if you have any suggestions for me, let me know right now in the comments. And if you haven't subbed to this channel yet, you definitely should. Thank you all so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.